Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. These are presents from the Hydraulic Press channel from Finland. We decided to do a collab. It's a great channel because it simply deals with destruction, nothing else. The guy just goes ahead, uses his fantastic hydraulic press and crunches all kinds of crazy things like ammo and, and all these things. Now, he sent me those because they are kind of his trademark. I sent him some slingshot stuff in exchange. And of course, the challenge is to destroy these, but not with a hydraulic, but with a rubber rolling press. So, I built one. Let me show you what I came up with. Meet the rubber rolling press. <laughs> Let me show you its features. In its core, it consists of one of these seven and a half kilogram massive steel bolts rods. And um, this is heavier than the sledgehammer, really. So this is deadly simply from the gravity. Wow, <laughs> I don't want to be hit by that on the foot. So here is this rod. And of course I attached some uh, rings because this is for attaching TheraBand. Since we're not happy with just gravity, this is 200 kilograms of rubber force. And here is a piece of string that pulls it up the tower and to the very top, where it then will be forced downwards by gravity and rubber. As you see, it's made from leftover wood. This one was already burned, I think. I salvaged it and used it again. The band then goes over this roller and is hooked into this trigger system. And the trigger is working fairly easily. When you press it, it releases the hook and then the loop comes off and the rod goes downwards. In order to make it ready for the destruction, you simply turn the winch and then the rod goes up as you see. That's only about one third of the way. And then when you press on the trigger, <laughs> it shots downwards. Okay, let's do a little test with this one euro coin. One, two, three. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is what happened to the coin <laughs> in comparison to the original. <laughs> if you look at the slow motion, I think it's really interesting to see that the entire contraption lifts itself up from the recoil before the hammer crashes down on the anvil. So that's really interesting to see because that is a heavy anvil. And you can see how much force the rubber bands have. Okay, we will start with this 19 millimeter lead ball. All the way. Go. Wow! <laughs> Pressing coins with the slingshot channel. Okay, one more go as the uh, slow mo wasn't running properly. Go! <laughs> this is really reproducible. See, they're almost identical. Next, we'll test this Breitling watch that has been sold to me by a trustworthy traveling salesman at the beaches on the Canary Islands. <laughs> and... <laughs> wow! <laughs> okay, let's take a look. <laughs> okay, I think the watch suffered a little bit. Yeah, the glass is all dust. Oops, it's coming apart. Okay, here you can see the clockwork. I don't see anything spinning anymore and yeah, I think that thing is uh, rubbish now. <laughs> Next, we have this beautiful iPhone and it's protected with a stainless steel cover. But will it protect it from the force of the rubber rolling press? We'll find out. Rowling press versus iPhone. And jump. Wow. All right, it did impress the iPhone. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you see everything coming out of it. I think that iPhone is shot. <laughs> okay, now gold. An old wedding band. 
Let's see what the rubber rolling press is doing with that one. Rubber rolling press versus old wedding band. Let's see. Okay. Well, that is the wedding band now. <laughs> Looks a little funny, I think. <laughs> so it's also an ideal divorce machine, I think. Now, how does this one compare to the real hydraulic press? Well, first of all, it's much less powerful. It draws the entire energy from the kinetic energy, not pressure. So this means uh, it has a completely different mode of operation. But it also is purely made for destruction. This has no real world purpose, except entertaining you guys. Okay, I hope you like this because... That's it for today. Thanks and bye bye. <laughs>